as a philosophy student, has any philosophies influenced you on your approach to jujitsu and in each way? Uh, that's a great question. Um, uh, my, my area of specialty in philosophy was epistemology, which is questions about the nature and extent of human knowledge. Now, with regards to my uh, philosophy education, uh, the, the sense in which it was most valuable to uh, my approach to jiu-jitsu um, was a very general one, which is uh, the idea of, I, I, I was blessed to have many outstanding uh, teachers in, in academia, uh, philosophy professors, and I was able to see what made them outstanding teachers. How were they able to convey information? How were they able to crystallize and break down difficult concepts and information and relay it to us as students? And uh, my ability to mimic that in a, in a judicial context was, was very, very valuable. So that was one sense in which a, a, just a general philosophy or academic education was, was useful. Um, breakdown and assimilation of, of information, of taking difficult concepts, breaking them down to their core into manageable chunks of information and relaying them to a student. Um, now, with regards to philosophy uh, in particular, uh, my area of specialty was epistemology and philosophy slash history of science. So I was very much <laughs> locked into this idea of... Um, uh, of what, what constituted a scientific method. Now, the best way to approach the sport of jiu-jitsu and combat sports in particular is through a kind of simplified version of, of scientific method, of trial and error method. And a huge part of uh, my development in, in jiu-jitsu was uh, the fact that my, my, my sensei, Hinzo Gracie, gave us a very a great amount of freedom for research. I remember one day he said to me, John, I don't care what you do, so long as you can prove to me that it works. Okay, so the, the idea of proof was very, very important. There's, there's a thousand interesting theories out there, but what can you prove? And um, trial and error, of course, through sparring is, is the, the main thing. So this fostered in me a sense of uh, looking at a, a, a jiu-jitsu training program as a research program similar to some kind of simplified scientific research program. So it was never the case that I saw Judith was something where you just come in, train hard, get tough. It was always about, okay, what's the problem we're trying to investigate? Understand the problem. There's not going to be any solutions until you can clearly uh, uh, state what the problem is. So everything begins with a clear statement of the problem. Once you have that, then it's about researching for solutions. Um, most of the research was simply experimentation on the mats. I had the good fortune to be uh, teaching full-time seven days a week for literally hours a day, um, many hours a day, uh, for over a decade at, at uh, Henzo's uh, Academy. And in addition, I had many uh, brilliant students like Padre Gracie um, who came into the Academy to train with us. Uh, so you had this incredible cross-fertilization of hours of training, uh, a clearly stated set of problems, uh, brilliant minds coming in from the outside, offering alternative points of view. Um, and this uh, was a unique opportunity for someone like me to try and uh, gain as much knowledge as I could over time. Um, as I uh, got students around me who were uh, enormously talented individuals they too are, are brilliant and creative people they made additions to what we were doing and we built a, a, a in a sense a kind of a, a simplified scientific research program where uh, the subject was control leading to submission and over time that's how it worked so i would say uh, in answer to your question um, there's a sense in which any kind of academic study prepares you well for the general skill of uh, uh, breaking down information into, into, into chunks and making it manageable for students to, to learn quickly. That's a, a general skill you, you learn in, in academic study. That was very useful. Um, but the more specific uh, uh, philosophy-based skill came out of the fact that my specialty was um, epistemology, questions about the nature and extent of, of human knowledge, uh, what constitutes knowledge, 
um, history and philosophy of science. What is the nature of scientific method? That was a big part of my, my PhD research. Um, uh, and uh, looking at a, a simplified version of scientific method, a trial and error method, uh, based around clear statement of the problem, interesting hypotheses supplied by uh, uh, my own research on the mat, um, uh, brilliant students who were, who were coming in and, and uh, visiting and, and bringing alternative points of view, um, the work of my own students uh, who added to uh, the knowledge that I had given them, but they're all brilliant and creative people in their own right. And uh, uh, it created a, a research program over time which was able to have a strong influence on the sport.